What's going on guys, it's Juan with 5 Minute Painters and today I want to show you guys how I clean my Titan handheld sprayer, so stay tuned. Alright, so this is real simple, um, today I was using my handheld sprayer and uh, I was shooting some uh, Benjamin Moore Advance, so now it's time to clean it up and uh, let me show you guys what I do. So the first thing you want to do, you want to detach this. Make sure you put that turbine to the side because you don't want to get any uh, any water into it because it will mess it up real quick. Um, so the next thing you do, that's what I like to do. You know, I unscrew my cup. And then I would dump out whatever excess paint is in here. But since I already did that, I'm just going to toss this here into a bucket of water. Next thing I do is I take a rag and take out this uh, attachment with the tool, the suction, you know, for the suction tool. Shake it out a little bit. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a uh, paint buildup in here, which you want to make sure that you clean out so the uh, my flex ray came with you know a bunch of little cleaning brushes and uh, you know it's very simple what I like to do is just dump this into the water clean it out real quick and the next thing you do is uh, pop off this little guard right here Throw it in the bucket, unscrew this, toss it. You see paint likes to build up in here and this is uh, when usually whenever you um, experience some type of trouble with your spray pattern using the flex spray, nine out of ten times it's because there's paint stuck in here and uh, when you're shooting it sometimes you know um, what happens you know the, the air will dry out the paint here and on this little tip so you know you always got to make sure you keep this really clean because uh, what happens this is the needle right here on this part that's the needle and that needle lines up with this with this hole right here and uh, whenever you pull the trigger the needle moves back and um, and your paint shoots out so if there's paint in here what happens is the paint shoots against you know that dried up paint and it'll go everywhere you know you have some uh you have a crazy spit and um you know it just uh it'll ruin your whole paint job so anyways you know you make sure you keep this clean and you have no problem so the next thing i do is uh i remove this little it's like a sealer ring right here Put that to the side before I take the uh, you know take the brush again and uh, start cleaning the needle. You want to make sure you get all the paint out of there. Cause so what happens if you don't get all the paint and you let it sit, and the next time you use it, well, what happened? The uh, your trigger mechanism is not going to work right. Cause uh, when you pull this trigger right here, the needle moves back right. What's gonna happen? The paint is gonna get the paint's gonna collect all the way down down at the bottom of this needle, and then when you pull the trigger, it, uh, it's gonna cause blockage and uh, or or delay. So whenever you pull the trigger, what's gonna happen? It's gonna delay it, and uh, your paint just gonna keep shooting up. thing you do is you clean your little ring. Alright, so after we clean our little sealer ring, make sure all the uh, all the other parts are clean and there's no excess paint left. Also here on this part right here, there's a uh, there's a little hole right here 
you want to make sure you get that clean too or else uh, your paint's not going to feed it's not going to feed correctly or not at all okay and then again you want to make sure everything is uh, clean here and make sure there's no paint left over on the needle or in the needle in the needle housing make sure that's all clean also you have a you have a little hole right here I don't know if you can see it you want to make sure there's no paint in there either because if uh, if you plug this hole right here what's gonna happen is gonna uh, your 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 spray is not gonna work at all because uh, it's not gonna get any air through here make sure you clean your threads too Last thing you want to clean is this little guard right here. Make sure there's no paint stuck here so you get the movement. And then usually what I clean last is my cup. That's pretty self-explanatory. And that's it. And then uh, what I do after that, I put everything back together. And uh, what I'll do, I'll take some uh, hot water and some um, mineral spirits and run that through the... Uh, sprayer just to get you know just to clean out whatever uh, whatever uh, paint is left in there if any but that's really the process of uh, cleaning my hand out spray all right so after you clean all the parts this is what I do uh, there's a little lock button right here unlock this and uh, just check the filter you want to check this every uh, every time you use it because what will happen uh, it'll get clogged up and um, it'll cause your uh, sprayer to overheat so uh, make sure this is you know there's no dust in here you can take this out and um, you know buy a replacement they're fairly cheap and uh, that's it uh, you know, I'm gonna put this back together, put um, the other parts back together, and there you have it. That's how easy it is to clean a handheld sprayer. And there you have it, that's how easy it is to clean your handheld sprayer. And uh, today I got some special guests with me. This is my son and his little brother, and uh, they just wanted to say hello. Say what's up to you two. Hi. Hi. Alright, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know what you guys think. And uh, also, you know, you want to keep your tools nice and clean because uh, that stuff's not cheap, so you want to take care of it. Um, once you start paying four, five, six hundred dollars for a spray, you know, you value that stuff. And uh, so uh, hopefully I could help you out a little bit and, uh, you know, show you how easy it is and maybe uh, help you guys decide. Uh, I don't know if maybe you wanted to buy one and weren't too sure. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully I helped you out. I'll catch you guys next time. Alright, ready? Three, two, one. Peace out, bro.